Let's take a look at voice memos then. Voice memos is a great way to just really quickly document thoughts onto your device, but also you could use it for lots of other things in your classroom from assessing work and giving verbal feedback to students, from students taking the device out and capturing, you know, some of the, the recordings around them and just some thoughts that they might have um, just in the moment. Let's jump into how it looks and how it works. So this is what voice memos looks like. It's pretty straightforward, really. Obviously, you have a big record button here um, and you can see the list of all of the recordings that you may have made along the side here. And it doesn't really get any more complicated than that. It's a simple tool for just documenting, um, you know, ideally your voice, but it could be absolutely anything that you're doing. When I tap on the record function here, it brings up the page showing me the recording gives you your wave bar um, as you're recording those things and obviously documents the time. I can pause any recording midway through so if there was a disturbance and I have to stop I can tap on the pause and then again tap resume to start recording after that and when I'm done I just simply tap done. Now once that's recorded onto my page you'll see I have that whole record bar here that I can edit, I can change. Now from a marking point of view, if I was using this in a classroom for students work, how great is it that I can have a look at the work that they're doing and simply then record this on my device. The thing I need to then obviously do is share this recording with them so that they can act on that feedback. So to do that I can simply tap on the share icon at the top and those familiar tools are here to allow me to share it to my uh, you know, place of choice depending on what the students are doing. So lots and lots of simple ways that you can use this um, within your classroom to support learning. I can also save this myself, so tapping on the file here is going to open up a folder for me to save this in. So it could be that I'm recording all of one class's piece of work and I can document this on my device. Now you might be thinking, that's great, but if I've got the recording pane up, how am I gonna actually see the work that I'm documenting? Well, again, if I tap um, on the bottom and drag up to reveal my, uh, my doc, I can choose that piece of student's work, I can go into split screen, and I can find the piece of work that I want to be marking, um, and then I can give that feedback on that piece of work. So for example, it could be that a student has uploaded this, I can have a look on this side whilst recording my feedback on this side. When I'm done, I simply just share that as um, a finished recording and then send that on to the students in a way that works for them. So there we go, simple use of voice memos on your device, a great way to very, very quickly and easily record your voice and share that to the students as part of a piece of assessment or simply just document thoughts and ideas if you're thinking of doing something creative and you just want to get those ideas down in a really quick and easy way. As always, please do share some thoughts in the comments section below if you've got any ideas for how you might use this in your own classroom.